Hi you guys, my name is Emma and I'm off travelling with my boyfriend for six months. We are literally leaving in two weeks time so I thought let's start the vlogs off with um, some packing. So I'm going to show you what exactly I have in my bag and what I'm going to be packing for six months. A toiletry bag. This is what I got off Amazon. It's one of those ones which you can hang. So great when you're in the hostels. So what I've got in here is I've got two toothbrushes I thought if I lose one I've got a spare one just in case I also bought those little cap thingies so then obviously it doesn't get dirty some shavers so like for your face sort of thing and the only makeup I will literally be bringing is an eyebrow pencil and one mascara I doubt this will last six months but it's worth giving it a go why not here's some travel wash we can see that i got this off amazon and what i also got off amazon as well was a sink plug so let's say we're in a hostel we couldn't get our clothes cleaned or anything like that and we could do it ourselves literally fill up the sink put your sink plug in travel wash clean clean everything you wanted we've got some toothpaste Dental floss. I don't know if I'll use this, but it's worth having just in case. Also got one bar of soap. I decided it was best to get a soap box off Amazon as well. I think it came in a pack of two. Um, because obviously when it gets wet, you don't want to put that wet soap bar in your bag. Because then it's just going to get everywhere. So definitely, if you're going to bring a soap bar, then get a box for it. Some face cream. Uh, this is actually an SPF one, so protect me from the sun on my face because I don't want to put sun cream actually on my face. Do you know what I mean? Roll on deodorant. I'm bleach blonde. Do you know what I mean? So I need to protect my hair at all costs because one is expensive to get it like that, and two, I want to keep it in good condition as much as possible. So what I tend to use is bed head. It works amazing for my head. My hair, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to bring one of each, uh, shampoo and conditioner. Really, really heavy. But originally I get like the one litre ones. These are only 400. So when my hair feels ratty or something, I'm just going to wash my hair with this, keep it in good condition sort of thing. Uh, but I'll probably, when I'm out there, get like cheaper version of shampoo. Or maybe I, I might get a shampoo bar. So that'll last quite long. Which is the micellar cleanser water. And these pads that go with it as well. So I can obviously take off my mascara in the night. also have some earbuds. I mean, that's definitely six months worth, isn't it? It's currently wrapped in a hairband. So it keeps it all together some mini hair bands so let's say i want to do some plaits either side i've got some thin hair bands to do that a bit of jewelry i've got a seashell bracelet here like an anklet i mean you can't go to asia and not be a typical white girl and wear one of these so i'm bringing that with me a bunch of hair bands which is definitely needed if I want to put my hair in a ponytail because I can imagine I'll be going snorkeling and stuff like that and my hair being down, being frizzy, not the one. So I'm going to be putting my hair up as well. Back here I've got all medicine that I will be bringing with me. So that's stuff like paracetamol, ibuprofen, got the jungle formula, 50% DEET spray so I don't want to get bitten. So this will obviously keep the flies and midges away which is definitely needed if you're going to Southeast Asia. Um, allergy and hay fever relief. Um, I've also got some bite cream, uh, antihistamine cream. Got some sturgeon, which is a really, really good brand. Anti-motion sickness tablets. So let's say when we go on the ferry or any boats, I don't want to get sick. So sturgeon, I've got lots of packs of that. So definitely going to bring, bring in that with me as well. Oh, first of all, all these bags that I've got here, which I'll show you in a second, are packing cubes. I like to keep everything organised. So having separate tops to trousers, shorts, I like to keep them all separate. So definitely recommend getting those as well. So in this bag, I have got just random stuff. 
So I've got a five litre dry bag. So when I'm on the beaches and stuff and I want to keep my phone safe, um, my passport, stuff like that, I can keep it in the dry bag. I can put my phone in here to keep that dry and safe as well. Definitely one of the hygiene wipes, hygiene gel. Also got an adapter. So it has all different settings of which country you go to. And basically you can use those whichever country you go to and you'll be able to charge with USB adapters. I've got aloe vera gel in case I get burnt. I've also got one of these. So basically let's say I'm in a hostel room and I don't feel safe sort of thing. Just to lock the door for extra safety I'm just gonna wedge in the door. Stop. <laughs> and basically no one else can get it. A padlock. Another padlock. Another padlock. And some other padlocks, which I cannot find amongst all of this. But I will find them, eventually. Somewhere. Oh, I found them. <laughs> yeah, and I've also got these padlocks. So all different types of padlocks. Because I'm bringing a lot of stuff and I'd rather just keep them safe. Do you know what I mean? Sun cream. I know this is a lot of sun cream. I think it's actually one litre. One litre of sun cream. I've actually heard when you're in Southeast Asia that it's really hard to get hold of sun cream over there. Or if you do, it's either really, really expensive or they actually put bleach in it. So it makes your skin more white. Ideally, I don't want that. So I've bought some sun cream. But what I've also done is I've brought some of these small, small thingies here. I don't know what these are called. What are they called? Squeezy bottles. Yeah. So I've got squeezy bottles. So let's say when I go out for the day, I'm just going to bring some of this sun cream, put them into there and then bring them in my day pack and then they're ready to go. What I like about these packing cubes is it also comes with a shoe bag. So this is the only shoe bag that I will be bringing. I'm gonna be bringing three different pairs of shoes. So to the airport, I'll be wearing my trainers. So I'll have those on me. So I only need to pack two other pairs. And the two other pairs will be some sliders. These are really comfortable. So sliders, these sandals which are extremely comfortable. They've also got the ankle straps, so they'll stay on my feet. These are from Clark. These are tops, some straps on it to keep it all in. I think roughly I've got eight tops maybe, but they all seem to be very, very small ones. So, stuff like this. I've got these in about six different colors. So, what I do is I just tend to ro roll them up, so they are, uh, Use less space. It's much easier. I've actually got more than eight tops, I've just realised. Anyways, it's like a going out top. So it can be used as a vest top, but it's also got a bow on the back. Here, one pair of pyjamas. So they're just these black netted shorts um, with this top. Um, I'm actually bringing two pyjamas with me, but I believe they're in the other bag because I had to split it because there wasn't any more room. I only bring a fair few tops with you because obviously you will be re reusing them. I just know that I'm going to be sweating a lot out there. I can always wash them because I brought the travel wash. Um, but they all fit in my bag, so I may as well bring them all. So that's my tops. This is the biggest packing cube, which I will be taking. And it has all my shorts, um, dresses, play suits, all in here. Definitely bring a skirt because you will not be allowed into the temples if your knees are on show. So what I have here is just a long one from Sheen. Um, I believe it was only $7.99, so if you do want the code, let me know. Um, really, really nice, long, floaty. Also, these shorts that match with this shirt. I thought this could be nice. I could cover up maybe a vest top and another pair of shorts sort of thing. Another skirt here, but this one's a short one. You can definitely go with like a white crop top, white vest top sort of vibe. Nice little play suit here. Two outfits for the evening, um, which will be some just dresses. So I've got this one here for the evening. For the evening. So that'd be quite nice. 
another pajamas in here which is just literally baggy shorts from Primark and a plain white top as well this is another dress this is from H&M I've got some cycling shorts maybe when we're on the bus or something and it's about 12 hours long it's just easy to wear I absolutely love these shorts I've got two similar pairs and I just think they're for Southeast Asia I need to wear them look at that look at them you're telling me they're not perfect for Southeast Asia what about this one look at that design I have to take them they are going in my basket now thinking about it I think I've brought too many shorts I might have to change a few things these are from Zara I absolutely love these shorts they hold you in at the waist you can literally wear them with any top they go with everything there is a spider there is a spider in my bag I don't know what to do oh my god that's it can you see that spider? What am I supposed to do with that? What the hell? <gasps> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh god, oh my god, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay guys, the spider's gone. We're just gonna swiftly move on to the next packing cube because I'm freaking out, so let's go. Got all my bikinis in which I think I have gone overboard. I like this because it's like more of like it's not shown too much sort of thing even with the bottoms it's not like a thong one which I wanted just in case I go snorkeling don't really want to wear a thong bikini look at this bikini I am obsessed this is the top this is the bottom and it comes with a waist chain it's so nice I'm obsessed the nude one yeah Thong. Thong bikini with the top. I also thought I'd bring this really really nice um, like three piece because if I'm going to like a beach club in like Bali let's say at least then I've got like a appropriate outfit for it do you know what I mean? So this is the bottoms really really nice. This is the top. Look at that skirt. Obsessed. So definitely coming with me. This one I absolutely love. Like it doesn't show a lot off but it absolutely covers everything and the material is so nice. So this is the top. Voice of bottoms as well. Look at those straps. It's like a chain strap. Love it. So on. Look at that. Yes. I've got some three cover-ups. So you know, cover-up from the waist. Got a black one. You know, beach sort of setting. Yeah, definitely bring in. Am I bringing too much? I don't really know. Am I? Am I? I don't think so. This is another packing cube that I have which basically has all my bras, knickers and socks. Laundry bag in there so any dirty knickers, dirty socks, that sort of thing I'll be putting in there and it basically doesn't smell out my whole entire bag with all the clean stuff so definitely recommend bringing one of these. It also comes with the packing cubes which you can get on Amazon so definitely recommend those. First aid kit. Definitely bring a first aid kit. So added more plasters, but you've got like bandages, I believe there's a pair of scissors in there, um, all of that sort of thing. So literally a lot of plasters. A poncho, I recommend bringing one of these because it will rain and you don't want to get wet, I don't think. I also have here a microfiber towel. So I didn't want to bring like a normal towel because it just takes up so much room in my bag. Fast drying and easy, easy to carry around with you. I also forgot to mention, make sure to bring some hydration tablets. So I've got this bag here. So I want to keep all my leads together, um, which just keep it all organized. I absolutely hate when leads are absolutely everywhere. So basically what this does, just keeps all your leads all together so i've got a i've got a light here i've got a fan i've got all my um charging cables um yeah so i've got this from sheen so let me know if you want the code for that pack of cards who doesn't love playing playing some cards i love it um i don't know about you but basically 
I will be bringing a lot of photography equipment. So that will include like GoPro, my vlogging camera, my laptop, that sort of thing. My friend is also bringing his camera with his lens and everything like that. So just in here, I've got like oh, charging cables as well as my GoPro. Um, this is actually a floatable handle for the GoPro. So let's say I'm in the seat or something, it will just float to the top. That's very ha handy to have. And then the waterproof case for the GoPro. Um, I've also got the charger in here, SD cards, the GoPro stick. This is my vlogging camera bag that I will also be bringing. This is the new MacBook Air that I will be bringing. Um, absolutely love it, starlight colour. Um, I will be using this to edit all my videos as well. I recommend buying some carabiners. They're really handy to put on the edge of your rucksack. Instead of putting your trainers in your rucksack, you can tie the laces onto the carabiner. You can also put a water bottle on the side so you don't have to put it in your rucksack. The luggage tags. Um, I'm just going to put it on my rucksack as well as my day bag. So I've got one of each. A tag that I will be putting inside my bag. I got this um, case for it, I believe off Amazon as well. And basically you can track anything um, up to a year on this AirTag. So it's currently on my Find My iPhone. So if let's say my bag does get lost from the airport, I can find it using my phone because this will be in my bag at all times. Passport holder, got my passport. I've also got three debit cards. Yeah, so I've got a Revolut, a Starling card and a Monzo. So I've heard from people that are in Asia at the moment is that their cards get uh, swallowed by ATMs. So always have a backup. I've heard horrible stories of people having no money because their card got swallowed. So definitely have a spare. I've also got some money out already. So I've got £300 worth of Thai bar money, which I'll be going out there, which should last me around 10 days. Um, what I also recommend is getting some international driving licenses. Um, you can get those from the post office and literally they cost £5.99 each. So they're different codes for Thailand and Vietnam. So I've got both of these, which are passport pictures and visa pictures. So when you go to different countries, if you need to get a visa, you've already got your photo printed out. Bring a pen. So you're filling out these and stuff, you've always got a pen. So... That's what's in this. That'll be going in my day back. Selfie stick. So just put your phone on here. Like that. You can literally go all the way out. It's also a tripod at the same time. So you can set it up. Put it up like this. It goes even higher. And you've also got a remote. So this actually comes out so you can stand ages away and take a photo from using the remote that's connected to your phone via Bluetooth. This will have all my documents in, so this will stay in my day pack, so this will have like insurance details, my flight details. Get your passport photocopied multiple times because I know hostels and when you're like hiring a moped they ask for your passport so then at least you've got photocopies of that so i'm gonna have photocopies in here as well as my driving license as well and even a contact list so in case of emergencies i've got a list of emergency contacts so they will stay in here perfect and works really well yeah love it so be carrying that round with me i also got a sleeping mask needed for the aeroplanes or when we're on the overnight train that's definitely needed if the lights are on another fan i've got so many fans i don't know why i've bought so many fans but look at this yeah love it why not just bring it with you what i also have is one of these waterproof bags so let's say i'm on the beach or something and i want to keep my phone with me my passport any belongings but i don't want them to get wet or i don't want to leave them on the beach basically just wrap this around your waist and it's one of these waterproof bags that rolls out and put your stuff in there and you can have it with you at all times 
I've also got a bum bag that I'll be bringing with me. So just an easy one to have around my waist if I don't want to bring my day pack with me. So I'll have that with me instead. So I'll be bringing a safety belt. Your card's safe, so if anyone comes past you, contactless or anything, it's actually protected. And you can actually have this really, really tight against um, your waist and have your top over and you won't even know it's there. So it actually fits my passport and my phone in it which are the two things I want to keep safe the most. So I forgot to mention my AirPods that I'll be bringing with me on the aeroplane. Definitely, definitely needed. I've also got a little case for them and a carabiner. So yeah, I can hook them onto anything. The bag that I will be bringing with me is the Osprey Rook 65. Um, absolutely love it. Um, it's got lots and lots of compartments. And all the way around, it's even got pockets here and here some side pockets a shoe compartment at the bottom and even at the very bottom is a um a cover so let's say when it does rain you can cover your whole bag just by just by opening this zip and it covers the whole bag and the problem i made before is i was packing everything so neatly when just don't just shove everything in there just squash it down because it fits so much better So just in this bottom compartment here, we have got the shoe compartment. So what I've done is I've just put my shoes in this bit, as well as my other bags and and my first aid kit. So that fits at the very, very bottom. And that there is the Osprey Rook um, 65, all packed and ready for Southeast Asia. Let's go. <laughs> the one thing I wish I could pack is her. I am going to miss Lottie so, so much. Just look at that face. Look at her. I wish I could take her with me and fit her in my rucksack. But I don't think I can. I'm going to miss her so much. I just want to say thank you for watching I really really hope you enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to making more videos when I'm actually out there so make sure to hit the subscribe button support me a little bit and I will keep going with this it's all pretty new to me but I'm enjoying it so let's go